I have a similar tranche to this. A question mark, one question mark, one question mark, five, it's equal to 10. We can use addition, subtraction, multiplication in place of question mark, and this time we can put parentheses anywhere but only one time. So you know the deal, please pause the video and try this first. Done? All right, let's just go ahead and give it a try. So I'm just going to say, let's use addition for all. Then eight plus one plus one, that's 10 already. What do we do with a five, right? So it's a no good. If we do subtraction, then let's say eight minus one, that's seven plus one, that's eight. And then what do we do with a five, right? So uh, no. And uh, if we do multiplication, eight times one times one, uh, no matter what we do, it's like seven or eight or whatever, and then I don't know what to do with the five, so no. And maybe we'll try division. If we do eight divided by one, that's a nice whole number, that's good. And then we have a one here. I want to reduce this a little bit. Let's do eight divided by two by putting down one plus one and then put parentheses around here. Uh, that's okay, yeah? Because we can use parentheses this time. That will be eight divided by two, which is four, but uh, what do we do with the five to get 10, right? So didn't work. Now here's the key to do this. Earlier we were trying to work with like whole numbers, but don't be afraid of seeing decimal numbers. If we use division, if you put division here and here, you are still going to get whole numbers. But if you put division here, one divided by five, yes, it's one over five, or you can also write that down as 0 0.2. Pretty nice, huh? And why is this so nice? Well, we have a 1 in front. If we do 1 minus 0 0.2, we will get 0 0.8. Aha! Why is this so nice? Because we still have one more 8 in the front. So 8, 8, 8. How can we go from 8 and 0 0.8 and get 10? All we have to do it's just simply divide. 8 divided by 0 0.8, this right here will give us 10, just like that. But now we just have to make sure we write the expression carefully. We want to have division 8 divided by 0 0.8. Earlier, 1 divided by 5, this will happen first before the subtraction, so we don't need the parentheses thrown here. But I want to have this right here happen first before this division. So we will have to put a parentheses, and this time it's okay, yeah, because the rule says so. Put parentheses around this, and then we have the 8 divided by this quantity. So 8 divided by this quantity, again, have a look. If you write this down, what you do first is inside of the parentheses, you will do 1 divided by 5 first, and you get 0 0.2, and then 1 minus 0 0.2 is 0 0.8 inside of the parentheses first. And then at the end, 8 divided by 0 0.8 is 10. And we're done. Just like that. Now, I have to be honest with you guys. I have done a similar question like this before. So I kind of knew how this would go. What was the similar question, huh? 24. So that's a pretty famous and well-known game puzzle. So here's the question for you guys. How can we go from three question mark, three question mark, eight question mark, and then eight, following the same rule from there and make 24? Hmm? I actually prefer 24 much better because that's Kobe Bryant's number. But in fact, 10 is also nice because that is his number for the Olympic Games. 